It's snowing. Are you excited to go out in the snow? Are you excited to go out in the snow? You want to go play? You want to go play? Oh. <laughs> he ran out. Oh my gosh. He's going to be in heaven today. Look at this. Oh, he's just laying in the snow over there. Oh my god. He is in his element. He loves it. Here he comes. The star of the show. You're all snowy. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. Bruno is now resting because he was running in the snow for a hot minute he is in his element and it's so i just i love i love seeing him run around in the snow and who knows if this is going to be like the last uh snow day you know of the year i just had a little telehealth with my psychiatrist because your mental health matters so yeah we're getting a huge snowstorm right now it is gosh i don't know i think we've gotten at least six inches and I think we're gonna get a couple more. It's not gonna stop for a few hours, but Yar's working from home. I figured I would do like a snow day vlog and hang out with you guys today because I don't know, like it just, I love hanging out with you guys during a snow day. So I thought we could do a daily vlog. I have some stuff I need to do around the house. I have an Amazon haul for you guys. I do like a monthly Amazon haul pretty much um, with like fun new Amazon finds. I know you guys love that. I'm kind of curious if, the snow is gonna stop in time to like go out at all today, but I feel like probably not. We did run out to uh, the grocery store last night and grab a couple of things because we were getting low and it was so busy. I don't know why I always just find like the chaos of grocery store, get the bread and the milk. I just always find it so, so fun. <laughs> but you know what I'm really in the mood to make and I grabbed um, the other day, I grabbed the can of biscuits to make my little egg bites that I had found on TikTok. I haven't made those in so long. They were such a favorite breakfast for me last year. They're so quick and easy to heat up in the morning. So let's whip those up. Okay, you guys, so as you saw, I ran out of egg <laughs> for these last two, but they are done. And look how cute they are. Just like little egg muffins. So they're kind of um, biscuity on the bottom, egg on the top with cheese, and I do jalapeno. And they're just so easy to reheat in the morning, get some protein. Um, yeah, they're delicious. You can add veggies, you can do whatever you want in them. So yeah. Super easy, I did them on 350 for about 20 minutes, but keep your eyes on them. So I usually have two, so I'm gonna have my breakfast. I have not had these in so long. I was so into these for a long time. And like the flaky biscuit kind of like goes to the middle. Mm, just as good as I remember. <laughs> a few minutes later. So I'm just packing up my egg bites, pop them in the fridge and heat them up in the microwave. Is anyone else's dog just always at their feet? You're just always right there. I just love you. I just love you. I love you so much. Are you going to run in the snow more today? I want to go out there with you. I'm going to put on my boots. And I'm going to watch you run around. Yes, I am. You want to build a snowman? You want to build a snowman? I love you. He's getting groomed on a Friday. We've been brushing you, but your hair is getting a little long, getting hard. Getting a little hard to maintain. <laughs> Ooh, big stretch. Gonna splute. Let's see your feet. No sprout? No sprout. Okay, I also have some exciting news. This is the candle that I made from, I used the oil from Lone Star Candle Supply and I burned it the other night during our Super Bowl party. And you guys, it smelled amazing. I'm so excited. This is the move. So if you need good oils, um, Lone Star Candle Supply. I really liked it. It was a great price. You can get like one ounce ones really cheap and it's just enough to like make a candle of this size per the one ounce. But anyway, so very excited. This is the champagne toast. It smells so good. 
Um, and what I also looked up online is if, I think the first time I blew it out too quick and it started a bad um, melting. <laughs> so I saw a little hack on how to fix that. So let's try it. So apparently you just take aluminum foil and make like a little, little jacket around it and then light it and it will help to melt it all down evenly. And then I'm just gonna light it like normal. It should help it to burn evenly and get all that wax down from the sides. So we'll let her do her thing for, it should just take a couple of hours. Okay, now I am so excited. I have been accumulating my Amazon haul to do a haul. So I can't wait to show you guys my finds for the month. I've got it all in a box here. Actually, I'm gonna make a coffee really quick. Stand by. All right, got a little Valentine's Day cup. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, by the way. So we're in the Valentine's Day spirit. Okay, so first and foremost, it's a lot of like home stuff because that's just what I love. But I did get this sweatshirt and it is exactly what I was looking for. I'll try it on. It's like the perfect oversized, like comfy, cozy, oh, crew neck. It's perfection. I love that it's ribbed. That's like my favorite. They have a ton of colors and it's an actual oversized fit. Cause like the thing with Amazon and being plus size, there's so many cute things that like don't fit the plus size body as oversized. And this one is genuinely oversized. They had a ton of colors. It's not too hot, but it's still a very nice soft fabric on the inside. Like with leggings, I just, I love, I live in stuff like this. And I just think it's like so cute. It was a great price. So they actually, this is actually a plus size item. Um, and it goes from one X to five X. So this for reference, I was nervous because with Amazon, you just never know. This is a four X. So for reference, next time I might order the three X but just for reference, and this is in the shade khaki, and they just have like a ton of perfect neutral colors. Like, it's just perfect. It really is, $32. I mean, I do I do like how oversized this is. It's very, very comfortable. First one's a hit. Okay, I needed a new dish dry mat. Um, the old one we had, you know, after a while, my dish dry mats just get like, really gross even after you're washing them they're just kind of like stained and yucky so i found this really cute one that kind of gave me anthropology vibes it's like i like to have something that's kind of cute for my dish dry mat just because it is like out on the counter um and i prefer to not like put it away because you know throughout the day you use it so look how cute oh my god that is adorable I think they called it herbs. It looks a little more like flowers, but there might be some herbs. So cute. Totally matches the vibe of our kitchen. Um, like the little pops of like greenery and then a little bit of like, you know, orange and yellow. I think it just, it's so perfect. It does have a little um, hanger here to hang to dry, but um, they had two sizes as well. I think I got the bigger size, but such a cute dish dry mat. And I feel like it will just look so cute. Um, on the counter. And I think if you click this one too, they had other options as well of like cute styles, but I don't know, this one just spoke to me. It's so springy. Okay, speaking of spring vibes, spring vibes and anthropology vibes, this I've seen, I'm pretty sure this might be viral because I've definitely seen other people have it, but look how, oh my God, this is so cute. This mug, is so darling. It has flowers and cherries on it. And it's also on the inside. And it's like a good size mug. It's not too small. It's not like a big mug. It's like the perfect size mug. And if you click on this one too, they have a ton of cute patterns. Um, I'm pretty sure they have different flowers, different fruits, different colors. And it's like got this cute little you know, imperfect shape. It just, it looks like it was made at like a pottery class. I wanna take a pottery class. When we were younger, we, <laughs> when I was young, we had this shop in our area called Clay Time where you'd go and make like clay items. <laughs> We'd make plates, bowls. My mom still has mine. Um, it was really popular for birthdays in elementary school too. And then you'd paint them. And it was just so much fun. I don't know, this kind of reminds me of that. I think, oh, so cute. And like I said, they have a ton of different styles. Oh, I'm really excited about this. 
This book has been being talked about a lot. <laughs> I can't talk. I need to drink more coffee. This has been being talked about a lot online lately. Don't believe everything you think. Um, this book. So I'm really excited to read it. I've heard a lot of good things and apparently people rave about it, including a lot of therapists and psychiatrists and psychologists. So I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay, this I'm really excited for. When I did the little mudroom makeover, a lot of you guys said like a lamp would look really nice in there. And it's so true because it gets dark in that room unless you put the overhead light on um, in the mudroom. But we don't have an outlet in there. So I was like, girl, they make battery operated lights. So this is so cute. It has, um, I'm pretty sure it has a timer as well, which is absolutely fabulous. So it's so cute. Let me show you guys, because we really do need some sort of little light in there. It does just feel very dark. Oh, and it does have a remote as well. 15 minute timer, 30 minute timer, six hour timer. Um, and then levels of brightness. That makes it super simple. Honestly, I'll probably just do it so like every day it comes on around the same time for the six hours. Probably when it starts to get dark around like five, maybe four. Because we, we go to bed by nine. Maybe I could do it for three. I don't know. Look how cute. This is so pretty and they have different colors. It's got nice pretty brass on the bottom. It matches the mudroom decor so well. It's got a light inside. This genuinely just looks like a light you'd buy at like Target or Home Goods, but I love that it doesn't require a plug. So if you have those weird little areas that just <laughs> don't have a plug or it's awkward and the plug would just show the cord and it would bother you, this is fabulous. And it had great reviews, so I have to try it. Okay, I'm putting in the batteries. Ah, there she is. It's so cute and I love it. It's honestly like a nice, thick glass. It's fluted, which is like my favorite. I love like a fluted ribbed glass. It's perfect. It's perfect. How cute is that? And it just, it matches so nicely. So we've got the power button, power on. Um, so let's see, this is at 100%. There's at the lowest percent, the 25. If you want something like dim, of course, I'm gonna leave it on the brightest. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna shut it off for now. It'll be really nice if we come home and it's like dark out and we, cause we always come in through there. So it's gonna be perfect. Okay, so you guys know I have become obsessed with anthropology lately. I just love their stuff, but of course it's pricey. So like I said, I love to try to find little Amazon similar items. And this is just giving me that vibe. Look how stunning this candle is. This statue candle and it has a wood wick. First of all, the second I took it out of the packaging, I smell it. They had different scents and it is, it's just a stunning like cement concrete statue with a candle. Like that is so cute. I was deciding if I wanna put this in um, my bedroom or not, not my bedroom, my office. Mm, it smells so good. I got some sort of clean smell, but like look at the detail. Like this just looks, this looks so cool. And I love a wood wick. And the fact that I can actually smell the candle is just a bonus because I would use it even just as a decorative item. Okay, so as we know, she's a nice coffee girl. I don't like hot coffee, I like iced coffee and I have to drink it out of glass. <laughs> I know, I don't know. I'm probably not the only one. So I always love finding like a good glass tumbler. I feel like we've all got the ones right now with the wooden top and it's kind of shaped like a can and I wanted to just find something different and look how cute this one is I am obsessed it's got like this really pretty kind of amber brown tone to it but it is see-through it is all glass it will fit in your cup holder and it comes with two of the little brown glass straws and of course comes with some straw cleaners and then you, if you want you can cover the straw hole here as you can see there's like a little cover and you can just sip it if you don't want to use the straw but this is so freaking nice and it suctions on so you don't have to worry about it coming apart this had really good reviews and they had like two packs they had different colors this is nice i like this so if i want to take my iced coffee to go that's perfect. Okay, as we know, I am a hair clip girly. I told you guys, this was a good haul. 
And I am live, laugh, loving for the bow moment right now. I think bows are so freaking cute. And look at this bow hair clip. Are you kidding? And it was a pack of two. But imagine you put your hair in a little like claw clip with the bow. Are you kidding? And it's actually a really good size. Like this is pretty much the kind of size that I wear right now with my hair. But so cute. Ugh, I don't know if they had different colors. I think they did, but I just got black and I just am ugh, in love. I haven't seen anything like that yet. And then I also grabbed this clip here. It's so beautiful. It's like this kind of pearlescent white with um, 3D gems of cherries. So cute for spring. And like, I don't know, the detail's so pretty. Like the cherry stems are like little gold beads. Um, so I don't know, I just thought this was so pretty and again very unique so my sunglass holder in my car is kind of falling apart i've had it for a while it's like bent it like hardly magnetizes anymore so i upgraded and got this really cute one and i love it because it has this really pretty um texture and design to it and i like the ones i don't like the ones where my sunglasses are visible i like when they're like in a case or protection like this because they have clip ones where your sunglasses just clip on and like they're shown outwardly, but I really like this one. So it just goes on your visor, magnetizes your sunglasses in here. It's felt inside or velvet, so it'll keep your glasses protected. And yeah, I just, I think it's so like glamorous and pretty and it feels like really a nice quality. Okay, so a lot, a lot of my gold hoops are from Amazon, the ones I wear like every day, so I love love finding cute earrings from them these are so so pretty these also kind of look like something sold to anthropology look at these hoops so as you can see they've got like texture to them where they're not perfectly smooth you know they've got a little bit of divoting to them so it's so cool because it's a hoop from this way it looks like that from the side it's like curved but then it's also kind of square oh, like so so pretty I am obsessed and all their earrings are just like so affordable, but they have the cutest designs. These are just like some regular old, um, like a medium sized gold hoops from Amazon that I've been wearing a lot lately, but these are just so much more like elevated and cool. <sighs> these are so cute. Okay, so <laughs> the lip liner stain is like in full effect. Um, I've tried these before and I do really like them. I got a lighter shade um, called Rose. So we'll have to try this the next time we, you know, do our makeup because my lip liner is always like the first thing to go. So need it. But if you want to try um, like that peel off lip liner stain that's super popular right now, I'll link this too. Okay, so I also grabbed a couple clothing items as well. This workout top looks perfect. It's a Lululemon dupe. I can tell you I have the Lululemon top. This feels very, very similar. This is the XXL and it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly. It looks very similar, like I said, to the ones that I already have. You know when you buy something, you can kind of just tell. I mean, I'll wear it during my next workout and I can show you guys how it looks, but I got this red kind of tie-dye. It's got built-in bra, of course, um, and it's kind of perfect. Lots of stretch, lots of stretch, and the perfect kind of cropped fit to go with your high-waisted leggings. And speaking of leggings, I decided to try a new pair. So I found this three pack for a great price and they had really great reviews. I know most days we're all living in leggings. Okay, these feel very similar to like the buttery soft beyond yoga fabric. Oh, these are, oh, these are nice. Okay, I love the way that these feel. And I got the ones with pockets cause I like these for the gym um, or from like walking and I can put my phone or my keys in there. Um, I only have like one pair with pockets on the sides. Uh, so I just thought it'd be fun to try, but these have a really a nice stretch and they are just, wow, they're soft. They're buttery soft, not see-through. Nope, that's opaque, that's opaque. So I got the XXL, which I'm glad I did because a lot of my leggings are in XL, but um, reading reviews, the XXL seemed like a better choice. And yes, definitely still very stretchy. They have bigger sizes too. Um, oh, these are nice. These feel very, very buttery soft. And then this is not that exciting, but we got this for our um, our bedroom's bathroom. They're just these little black night lights that have an auto on and off switch. Um, it's like soft light. Um, 
They're really cute though. Just for when, when we get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. But it came with a two pack. They are actually like really, I think they look really nice. So you just plug them in. It has a soft light on the top and the bottom and they look really pretty. So it's just great so you don't have to turn on the big bright bathroom light if you go to the bathroom at night. Or if you wanted to put one like in the hallway, um, anywhere that you need light in the middle of the night or when it's dark and you don't want to put on the big light. So I don't know. I think these are great. Like I said, they had great reviews. Pack of two. Um, I'll report back once we're like using them and whatnot. But yes, that's the Amazon haul. I am very pleased with everything that we found this month. Very excited about this cozy sweatshirt as well. So I'll report back on wearing these after the next time I go to work out. But all this stuff will be linked, of course. I want to put my dish dry mat on the counter. I gotta put all this away. So let's set up our mat and it's gonna be much more absorbent as well. But look, oh, that is so pretty. What side do I wanna put it on? I think it goes this way, yeah. So damn cute. All right, it is time. <laughs> Bruno and I are gonna tackle this laundry. It is definitely a snow day kind of task. We've got a lot to fold, so. Let's get to it. you guys i just finished laundry and i took a shower it's definitely time to wash the hair i'm telling you if you want your hair to like smell like you left the salon um i've been using the way leave-in conditioner and it just makes your hair smell like a salon and it's a great leave-in conditioner too it's not sponsored or anything but it's just like a really really good product um i also forgot i had opened some new pieces from randa fry um look how cute these are so these earrings are called the scarlet and they're these little huggy hoops but they have like a little diamond at the top they're so cute and then they have a new charm here it's like a little black heart with little diamonds on the bottom and then i'm wearing it with the 22 inch avery chain so there's the jewelry for today and i'm so excited because they gave me a bigger discount for you guys for the next week 20 percent off the website so anything you guys have been wanting to grab grab it it's going to be for one week starting today when this vlog goes up um, and the code is fearless 20 i'll put the link below um but great i'm so excited because normally the discount is 10 percent, so 20 is like amazing so definitely grab anything i feel like this is so cute for um valentine's day and just spring i pretty much wear miranda fry necklace like every day i took my bracelets off the other day i need to put them back on but you guys know i love miranda fry because they have a lot of size inclusive options for their bracelets anklets charm uh not charm necklace lengths they're just great and their rings too so um i love that they are size inclusive so i'm sitting at the kitchen table editing and anytime Bruno goes to the door, he's telling us he wants to go outside. You want to go outside? Go go out. There you go. <laughs> so cute. You playing? <laughs> you having fun? The way his tail wags when it snows, like he just... Oh, he's digging. He's digging. Look at him. <laughs> he is having the time of his life. so cute okay so i'm still sitting here still editing um drinking my water i do i really love this tumbler it's like i've never even seen the brand before but i really like it i like because i like the rubber bottom like when you set it down it's like quiet and it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't like stumble around um but yeah i just had some lunch i heated up some of the buffalo chicken dip from the super bowl and had it with some um some pita chips and celery and i don't know i i could like live on apps i really could so um i should probably 
let my hair start to air dry now because I feel like after a while this is like so wet there's only so much I can do I'm telling you oh my god like my hair smells so good because you know I just I feel like a lot of hair products make your hair smell good for like a second this is that's powerful <laughs> it's very powerful the hair is growing you guys the hair is growing I just want to be able to do heatless curls again I do think I don't know. I'm like, do you think it's long enough now where we could do the heatless curls? I don't know. Anyway, you guys, the snow is pretty much stopped. So he's probably going to snow blow later. Um, but we got a lot. Like, we definitely got at least like eight, nine inches. So if you guys got snow, let me know. I'm also very excited because um, today's Tuesday. So last night there was a new episode of a 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life. I was so bummed. <laughs> they didn't do a new episode of regular 90 Day Fiance on Sunday night because of the Super Bowl, I think. So we gotta wait another week for 90 Day Fiance. All right, you guys, checking back in. I'm about to whip up dinner. So I figured it would be the perfect kind of ending it towards this vlog. I also finished blow drying my hair earlier cause I was really cold. So yeah, it's 5.30. I'm gonna do barbecue chicken, little veggie blend and mashed potatoes homemade cause they just taste so good. And it just sounds like such a comforting winter meal. <music> Okay, wait, I'm so excited. I forgot I bought corn. <laughs> so we're gonna have corn. I love corn on the cob. I haven't had this, I don't think, since last summer. Potatoes are on the stove. Um, those take the longest, so I'm gonna wait a bit before I start everything else. <laughs> Here is Yar's plate, and here's my plate. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to our corn and save these other two corn, probably just like for tomorrow. But yeah, I like to cook my chicken, I cut up. It gives me less of the chicken ick. Just tastes better, you can trim off any parts you don't like. But yeah, super yummy. Also you guys, it's now uh, 7.24. We had dinner. We've been watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Prime for our show. I have peeked at this a couple times today and it definitely helped a little bit, but I still got a lot over here. So let me know if you guys have any other tips or tricks. I can smell it though, which is great. This one, I clearly, I guess I should have put two wicks, but you know, <laughs> you live and you learn. Maybe we'll try again tomorrow. Wood wicks work though. Wood wicks? I'd probably still have to put two. I think it's just too big. Still haven't brought the Super Bowl stuff to the basement. <laughs> I just like, it's like I know where to put it, but I just don't want to. Well, you want another shelf down there. I need another shelf. We've got, it's overflowing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the candle saga of the day. And in honor of Valentine's Day tomorrow, I have on these Heart Skims pajamas. So cute. But yeah, we're just gonna chill the rest of the night. Maybe watch more. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, he thinks it's moving a little slow. Or too much dialogue. Too much dialogue. Too much dialogue. He wants more action. Do you need to go out again? He's been out a lot. Awesome. You just want to keep playing. That's fine. Probably the last call of the night, bubs. <laughs> he has gone out and played so much today. Um, I like the show. I, I don't know why. I do see a few points where it's a little bit like a lot of talking. But I like it though. I like it. Yarman's pushing through it for me at this point. <laughs> I 
All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out today on this snow day. I hope you enjoyed a snow day vlog, and I love you guys so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.